entrance antiform. Who is this arising like the dawn, fair as the moon, resplendent as the sun, terrible as an army with the banners? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this celebration today, in this Monday, when we celebrate the solemnity of Lady Help of Christian, patron of Australia. This is your mother, under the title of the Help of Christian. Mary was chosen as a patron of Australia by the first provincial synod by the Archbishop John Beth Paulding in Sydney in 1844. The flooding colonies needed Mary help at that time, as the nation does today. We are held through Mary powerful intercession and through the example of her life that we find in the gospel. My dear friends, to prepare to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite heart Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us into everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, long ago, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, had mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, had mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. I would like to bring to intention in this Mass for my Auntie Rosario, for the peace in Australia for the Conference of Bishops of Australia, I would like to pray for the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady Helpful Christian. Let us pray. Almighty and a living God, who placed the love of Our Lady Helpful Christian in the heart of those who brought the Catholic faith to this show, grant through her intercession, wisdom to our leaders, and integrity to our citizens, so that, under her protection, Australia may know harmony, justice, and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Wisdom brings up her own sons and cares for those who seek her. Whoever loves life, those who wait on her early will be filled with happiness. Whoever holds her close will inherit honour, and wherever he walks, the Lord will bless him. Those who serve her minister to the Holy One, and the Lord loves those who love her. Whoever obeys her judges are right, and whoever pays attention to her dwells secure. If he trusts himself to her, he will inherit her, and his descendants will remain in possession of her. For though she takes him at first through winding ways, bringing fear and faintness on him, plaguing him with her dis discipline until she can trust him, and testing him with her ordeals, in the end she will lead him back to the straight road and reveal her secrets to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon the heaven and earth? Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung heap he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, the princes of his people. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. The language of the cross may be illogical to those who are not on the way to salvation, but those of us who are on the way to see it as God's power to save. As scripture says, I shall destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing all the learning of the learned. Where are the philosophers now? Where are the scribes? Where are any of our thinkers today? Do you see how God has shown up the foolishness of human wisdom? If it was God's wisdom that human wisdom should not know God, it was because God wanted to save those who have faith through the foolishness of the message that we preach. And so, while the Jews demand the miracles and the Greeks look for wisdom, here are we preaching a crucified Christ, to the Jews an obstacle that they cannot get over, to the pagans madness, but to those who have been called, whether they are Jews or Greeks, a Christ who is the power and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human's wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to welcome the gospel. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. Happy are you, O blessed Virgin Mary. Without <clears throat> dying, you, would, you won the martyr's crown beside the cross of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John.
Need the cross of Jesus stoop his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the white of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, this is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a play for her in his own. The Gospel of the Lord. For the Salvation Congregation, it is a big feast today. Our Lady Helpful Christian, in Spanish, we call her Maria Auxiliadora. It's easy always to talk about Mary. I think when we have a very close relationship with our own mother on earth. It's easy to talk about this woman when we are able to respect another woman. I really enjoy to see and to hear once again Paul tell to the Corinthians, to the community of Corinth, where are the philosophers? Where are the scribes? Where are those people who think they are clever and they have too much wisdom? The wisdom of God is much wiser to the wisdom of human beings. The language of the cross is illogical for this society. How is possible to conceive that that man is God and he died on the cross? It's illogical. I cannot comprehend what happened. Yesterday, I mentioned in my homily that the ascension of the Lord proved to the cross was successful because without the cross, without suffering, Without resurrection, the cross means nothing. But because the cross, Jesus was nailed, he was dying for love for humankind, the cross became logical and successful. And today that we celebrate in Australia, our feast, the solemnity, our lady helpful Christian, always Mary. Mary being important in the history of the church. Mary is important in many countries, in many families, in many cultures. A couple years ago, when I traveling to Machu Picchu, and I have the opportunity to have a tour when the Spanish people colonized, I remember one of the church when we entered, the tourist guy mentioned to us that for the Spanish people, 
was easy to bring the message of Jesus Christ through Mary to these Indian people. Interesting that Mary, our mother, always played important role in the history of human beings, in the history of humankind, and in the history of the Catholic Church. And in today's Gospel, when Jesus sees Mary, I think that poor man was kneel on the cross. And before he died, he saw this sorrowful mother, and he thought, who will look after my mother? And Jesus said to the disciple that he loved most, he said to John, this is your mother. And he said to Mary, this is your son. If we, my dear friend, realize that Mary is a mother, that Mary is not a savior, she is not a redeemer, but Mary is the bridge who brings us to her son, and her son Jesus offers us eternal life. One of the big dangers for many philosophers, for many theologians, is to think that Mary is no more important. The devotion to Mary, that the rosary to Mary, is only for uneducated people. But for us that we are philosophers, that we are theologians, that we know God by brain, Mary is no important. And I think if we reflect today the second reading, St. Paul can tell us where are the theologians, where are the philosophers, where are all those people who think that Mary is no important. This is just foolishness, but this is not God's wisdom. I would like to invite you, please stand. We say together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, Ablo, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, who will come to just the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, O all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. But the mystery is what and why we share divinity in Christ, who humbled to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord God, O all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. And pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offering of your faithful, presented in commemoration of the blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us be saying to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always in every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the Blessed Mother. For by the overshowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels pray your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtue of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices we pray joy with this in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed Holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy the for this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, light the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving them, broken, gave it to his disciples, say, they did, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will give an art for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and one more he gave him thanks. He gave you to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us with it to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis Apple, Timothy, our bishop, Don, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. This morning, we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day a daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to you, Apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sin, but on the face of the church, and graciously grant air, peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, before him who take away the sins of the world, bless your those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no way to change into my room. 
Only stay the way of my sword, child. Let us pray. Refreshed by this heavenly sacrament, Lord God, we pray for Australia, our earthly home, that with the help of the Virgin Mary, we may become a new creation in Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever for your personal intention. I implore the protection of a very good mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord. Thank you for coming, everyone, and have a beautiful day.